hey guys, in this 5 minute quick edit I'm going to take this raw file of this hiking path on the Swiss mountain Riggy and I'm going to turn it into a photo like this. I know this isn't the greatest picture in the world but I really just wanted to take 5 minutes for this quick edit because I think there are some elements, especially this fence and this path kind of leading you into picture, then you have this bench as well in the left to give some additional interest and of course the mountains in the background. So let's get started by bringing down the highlights, bringing up the shadows, maybe not even a uh, hundred in this case because it's almost a bit too much. Then I'm gonna definitely add some contrast to give some life back in the scene and the blacks maybe even bring them down just a tiny bit and of course as always bring up the whites and just make sure that there's nothing clipped so i think that works pretty well color temperature is definitely a bit on the cool side so let's warm that up and yeah that works even better tint is just fine if you ask me so i'm not going to change anything there clarity is always a difficult thing because there are so many different ways to go but i don't really like either way neither the minus nor the plus effect so i think i'm just gonna leave that one at zero as well and maybe just add a little bit of vibrance to just give a little bit more life in the picture then tonal curve of course just gonna maybe add a little bit of highlights even though uh, it's already pretty bright in the sky and of course just play around with the rest of these sliders. I think I'm just gonna raise the lights actually because I really like the effect on the foreground from before to after, it really gives a lot of dynamic and then just grab a graduated filter in a second for the sky. But let me finish with these two sliders first and yeah from before the tonal curve adjustment to after it's just a lot more dynamic especially in the foreground but as i said before for this guy it's just a bit too much so i'm just gonna grab a graduated filter drag it over the sky and go a little bit into the mines exposure now i don't want to do something like this because of course then it doesn't look natural anymore but just a little bit into the minus exposure works pretty well then uh you know because this five minute quick edit i don't think i'm gonna do any detail or even any other global adjustments here instead i'm just gonna grab an adjustment brush and definitely add some vignetting here reason i'm doing this with the adjustment brush and not with the effects tool down here is because i do not want any vignetting over the sky portion so i'm just gonna start here in the foreground and i think that works really well of course just adjust how much you want it and then even add another layer over just some additional parts here and yeah from before the adjustment brush and years after then another thing that I thought about is going black and white and I think it works really well for this fence, for these trees on the right and especially the mountains in the background. But on the left it really becomes too cluttered because then you don't have the differentiation from the different color tones. So at the end I think I'm gonna have to leave it in color but to add an additional layer of interest I'm just gonna grab an adjustment brush here and add a little bit of uh, warmth in this adjustment brush and then just paint over this path and that way you get a little bit more differentiation from the grass to the actual path and I think it works pretty well. I'm not gonna do it super carefully otherwise you would have to zoom in one to one. Uh, maybe I could even add a little bit of color here to give an overall more natural looking effect and you know I don't want to do this too much but I really just want to give some additional differentiation from the actual path to the grass and I think that works pretty well here so let's see before that one adjustment brush and here's after it's amazing how this really can spice up the picture and make everything look a lot more warm and saturated and with that said I think I'm pretty much done with everything except of course dodge and burning and I'm actually gonna just add mainly some plus exposure spots here in this picture just to add additional interest and complexify the lighting and you know to save a little bit of time I'm just gonna speed up this footage and I'll see you in a second. Alright, 
so I've added a few dodge and burning filters and a few very big ones just to simulate as if the sky was coming from the right of course and hitting the scene and that way you really create some additional interest and of course I just went with the lighting scheme and made some parts darker where it was already dark to really increase the contrast and the dynamic of the overall picture. So here is before any dodge and burning, here's after. You see I just really added some bright spots uh, where the light was usually going to hit and I made some spots where the light doesn't hit a little bit darker and that way you really really create some interest and at the end make it look natural and all organic. And with that said I think I'm done with this 5 minute quick edit so let's see where we started at with the raw file and you see it's a lot uh, flatter, a lot more boring and at the end it's a lot more alive and a lot more contrasty but of course it's not the greatest picture regardless. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe of course if you haven't already and I hope you have a great day.